Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Dr. Nathan Bryan with another episode of our Nitric Oxide Insights. You know, one of the things I've always prided myself in is keeping you and really the whole community and really the masses up to date and informed on the latest nitric oxide science. Now, there's tons of information out there, mostly misinformation. And so what I think my job is to do is provide clear science-based evidence on the importance of nitric oxide. We know this one of the most important molecules produced in the human body. We know how the human body makes it. There are two primary pathways. The first pathway to be discovered was through an enzyme that converts arginine to nitric oxide, and this enzyme is called nitric oxide synthase. The function of that enzyme decreases with age, so the older we get, the less we make through that pathway. Now, interestingly, and I think fascinating, is now we know how to overcome that because the recognition of a secondary redundant kind of compensatory pathway involves the oral microbiome and even the gut microbiome. And this is extremely important because now we can harness the therapeutic benefits of nitric oxide by simply diet and maintaining a healthy and diverse microbiome. So this pathway was first discovered when it was recognized that the mechanism of many dietary patterns, whether it's the Mediterranean diet, a plant-based vegetarian diet, the Japanese diet, is through an inorganic nitrate found in green leafy vegetables. And this molecule, which is inert in humans, can be metabolized by oral bacteria into nitrite and nitric oxide. And this provides the human body with a source of bioactive nitric oxide gas. A number of studies have shown that this can normalize blood pressure, improve athletic performance, and really recapitulate nitric oxide-based signaling. Now, this makes sense scientifically because the human genome only contains about 23,000 gene products. The microbiome, meaning the bacteria that live in and on our body, provide 3 million gene products. So these bacteria reside in and on our body to perform essential metabolic functions that humans cannot perform. And so it's really important. In fact, it's fundamentally important and critical to maintain this microbiome. So what do we do? You know, two out, three, two out of three Americans wake up every morning and use mouthwash, killing their oral microbiome. The consequences are very obvious. An increase in blood pressure, you lose the protective benefits of exercise. 200 million prescriptions written for antibiotics every year, not only disrupting the oral microbiome, but disrupting the uh, gut microbiome. So the one thing I want you to take away from this and understand is a good diet combined with maintaining a normal, diverse bacterial microbiome is essential for maintaining normal nitric oxide production, bioavailability, which increases circulation, oxygen delivery, blood flow, decreases inflammation, oxidative stress, and immune dysfunctions, the hallmarks of every single chronic disease. So maintain a healthy oral microbiome, do the things that we suggest, stop using mouthwash, get sufficient nitrate from your diet, and then moderate physical exercise and sunlight. It's really that simple. You do that and your body will thank you for it.